Hi everybody, Father Peter here. Welcome to my weekly video blog. What you see uh, scrolling across your screen are pictures of the youth mission trip to Rutland, Vermont. And I want to show you these pics as I tell you a story. I was absolutely blown out of the water on Wednesday evening. I drove up to Rutland uh, to be with the mission and arrived around six o'clock and came into an upper room at a Baptist church. And there, uh, all the youth and the leaders from our uh, group were there, along with the youth and leaders from three other churches and gathered together. They were singing. They were listening to some scripture. There was witnesses about the work that had been done that day. There was a mixing game. Uh, there was great ease and hilarity uh, across generations and a room full of joy. Wednesday night was a free night uh, in the program for everybody, so uh, the leaders chose to go bowling, and what better choice could there be? Love to bowl. Went bowling, and at the lanes, it was really fun to watch everybody having so much fun together. And uh, I just have to call out Jack Harrison, who bowled a 147 in the most unorthodox way of all time. Jack's got a future as uh, an unorthodox bowler. Then after that, we went to have ice cream. You'll see a pic of this, the outdoor place where it's the name of the restaurant and it says restaurant ice cream and cheese. That's how you know you're in the real deal, Vermont. And while we were ordering our ice cream and standing around, I was just, uh, I was really moved as I saw uh, the cool and the uncool, the older and the younger, the boys and girls, introverted and extroverted, all moving about with an incredible freedom, a kind of hugging and laughing freedom that would never be found in any high school in the United States. Oh my gosh, this was a completely different space uh, for the youth of our church to be and to be free and to be free to be who they are, not somebody they think they're supposed to be. And after that, we came back uh, to the, the, the Mission Central, which is a Baptist church in Rutland, and we went into the sanctuary. There we uh, turned off the lights, uh, put on, you know, lit some candles, and put a small table in the middle uh, of our gathered group that was mostly on the floor and some on a, a pew that faced it, the bread and wine of Holy Communion. And there we had a guided meditation, got very, very quiet, very quiet, and imagined the light of the Spirit coming into us, imagined talking to Jesus in intimate ways, and then uh, having the Eucharistic prayer, all still gathered there, and then... Uh, all of us, the 25 of us from St. Mark's, uh, administered communion to one another around the circle. And then after that, one of the most beautiful things I had ever seen happened. We took a chair uh, and put it in the center of the group. And the five people who are leaving the group uh, were, were brought forth one at a time and prayed for. The first was Lizzie Slocum, uh, who is moving to Houston. And then uh, the four seniors who are graduating, Grace Drugi and Max Holmberg and Parker Looney and Max Thorsheim. And one by one, they came uh, and sat in the chair, and we called the Spirit down upon them and laid hands on each of them. And it was beyond moving uh, for me to hear their friends and their youth leaders praying for each of them. This, again, is an experience of spiritual intimacy that you just would not find uh, in any other place, any other safe space uh, uh, but a church at its best. And uh, by the time it came uh, to be the end of the evening, I was so fired up I couldn't go to sleep. I, I just had uh, found myself caught up in something that was so moving, so uh, holy and deeply, deeply humbling for me that I, I just simply couldn't believe its goodness. You know, in our world, there's so much bad news. Oh my gosh, uh, to begin each day with the news uh, can be really, really rough. But I have to tell you, there are hidden treasures in this church. They're not talked about all the time, but there are things that are so beautiful you can't believe it. And one of those is what happens on a youth mission trip. I am grateful to every one of the youth that went on the trip, and I am grateful to Syra Borsi, uh, our director of youth ministries, who oversaw so much of that, and Mark and Margot Thorsheim, uh, and to Amanda Sutton, the adults who were there, uh, as they, as together, they all made the body of Christ. I I am telling you straight up, this is 
holy stuff. It is great for the souls of all who participate in it, and it's great for the soul of the world, not just because all of these youth gathered together, reached out to the Alzheimer's uh, unit in town, reached out and planted, reached out and fixed houses, reached out and helped the people who were companions to those who were lonely, not just because of that, but because each of their souls was changed by the goodness of the group. This is the body of Christ at work. I'm not kidding. I really feel as though they were entering the mind of Christ uh, in all that they were up to. So darn beautiful. So beautiful. God bless you. Thanks, everybody. Uh, This is the July 1st weekend coming up. Uh, Perhaps it's not quite a holiday weekend, but many are treating it to be as such. And so therefore, I want you to be safe as you live and move and drive about. Peace, blessings, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus.